Hey, what's up mga bis? At ang pag-usapan naman natin ngayon ay tungkol sa derivatives. Ito ay part ng uh, differential calculus course. And to define derivatives, no? Medyo mahaba-habang definition yan. Pero to make the long story short, derivative is also known as the slope or the instantaneous rate of change. So kapag sinabing find the rate of change, it's synonymous to finding the derivatives. Synonymous to finding the slope. Okay? So... Pakita ko lang sa inyo yung overview ng mga mangyayari, no? Sa derivatives kasi, guys, ang daming formula niyan. Pero huwag yung maganala, guys, no? Tutulungan ko pa yung maintindihan lahat yan. Kasi nung una, pagkakita ko rin sa lahat ng formula na to, eh, nanginig yung tuhod ko. Pero dinaan naman sa dahan-dahan, eh, makukuha natin yan, no? So, simulan muna natin sa basic algebraic differentiation. So, doon muna tayo sa basic, guys. Kasi once na na-master nyo yung mga basics nito, yung differentiation, eh, mas madali na sa inyo yung mga mas mahirap na uh, differentiation. I-start muna natin dito sa power rule, guys. Okay? Okay, i-define muna natin kung ano itong mga symbols na to para maintindihan nyo. D over dx is parang meaning non derivative. Yung nakapaloob dito, yun yung i-derivative natin. So, the derivative of x raised to n is equal to nx raised to n minus 1. Okay? So, if we have uh, uh, if we have a term x raised to n no pa para makuha yung derivative nito gagamitin natin yung power rule yung mangyayari guys yung uh, exponent niya magiging coefficient tapos yung exponent magsusubtract tayo ng 1 okay let's say for example we have find the derivative of x squared no okay guys unang gagawin natin gagawin natin coefficient yung exponent so magiging 2x Tapos yung exponent niya, magma-minus 1 tayo. So, that's 2 minus 1, that's equal to 1. Or, we could, we could just simply say 2x, okay? So, another example, guys. Let's say, d over dx of, uh, ay, find the derivative of x raised to uh, 5, okay? Let's say like that. So, try nyo yung gawin, guys. Okay? Yun nga, sabi ko ulit. Yung, yung exponent, yun yung magiging coefficient. Tapos yung... Uh, exponent nyo, magsusubtract tayo ng 1. So, that's 5 minus 1. That's 4. Alright, guys? So, ito. Okay, let's go next na. Paano kapag merong coefficients yung i-derivative natin? So, let's say, for example, find the derivative of uh, 2x cube. Okay? So, pa para kunin yung derivative nyan, guys, kapag meron na siyang uh, coefficient dito, Ilabas nyo lang siya guys, okay? Uh, put it aside, no? Huwag nyo siyang galawin. So, magiging 2 yun. Tapos, gawin pa rin natin yung dati. So, magiging 3x. Tapos, yung uh, exponent natin, magsusubtract tayo ng 1. So, that's 3 minus 1. That's equals to 2. So, simplify natin. 2 times 3, that's equal to 6x squared. Okay, gets guys? Ayan guys. So, kahit yung uh, exponent mo is fraction, it will the same apply. So, let's say for example, find... Ibang color naman. So, let's say, for example, find the derivative of uh, x raised to 1 half. Okay? x raised to 1 half, guys, para kunin yung derivative niya, yun nga, as, uh, as we mentioned a while ago, gawin natin coefficient yung 1 half. Tapos yung x. Tapos 1 half minus 1 would be equal to negative 1 half. And since yung exponent natin is a negative uh, since yung exponent natin is negative, ilagay natin siya dito sa denominator natin. So, ito magiging 1 over 2x raised to 1 half. Or we could uh, simplify that further. 1 over 2 square root of x. So, ayun guys. That's the power rule. Okay guys, pero remember, ang power rule pwede niyang ma-apply sa napakaraming paraan. Let's say for example, we have the, find the derivative of uh, find the derivative if 1 over x. Okay. Unang papasok sa isip natin, paano natin kukuha yung derivative nito gamit yung power rule? Eh, eh yung x nasa denominator, eh, sa numerator, wala, tapos wala siyang exponent, gano'n or what. Remember guys, na kapag walang nakalagay na exponent, that's implied as 1. Okay. Dalhin na lang natin siya sa numerator. So, ito magiging x raised to negative 1. Kasi nga, yung... Uh, Yung sign dito, kapag ta-transfer mo sa taas or sa baba, magiging negative. So, ito, pwede na natin gamitin yung power rule. So, ito, magiging, magiging coefficient yung exponent. Tapos, x, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So, i-simplify further natin yan. Yung 
hindi bawal na magkaroon ng negative na exponent. So, para maging positive yung exponent natin, dalhin natin siya sa denominator. So, that's gonna be negative 1 over x squared. Alright, guys. So, ayun. That's it for our power rule. Okay, guys. So, derivative. Okay, guys. So, derivative of a constant, guys. The derivative of a constant is always equal to 0. Okay? So, let's say, for example, if we, if we are tasked to find the derivative of... If we are tasked to find the derivative of... Uh, 5. So, that's uh, 0 na yan implied then, guys. Like, find the derivative of uh, 4 million 500,000. Okay? 0 pa rin yan, guys. Okay? Always na derivative ng constant ay 0. Don't forget that. Now, saan nanggaling itong derivative of a constant na equal to 0? Okay, guys? Ito nanggaling to guys, sa power, power rule din. Okay? Power rule din yan nanggaling. So, try kong pakita sa inyo paano yan kinuha sa power rule. Okay? ba guys? Let's say, for example, yung 5 na to. Ang 5 na to, 5 is also equal to 5x raised to 0. Kasi, 5x raised to 0 is equal to 1, guys. ba? So, dali, that's 5 is equal to 5. So, let's just equate... 5 to 5x raised to 0 para magamit natin yung power rule para ma-prove na tama to so find the derivative of 5x raised to 0 sabi ko nga kapag may constant isang tabi na lang yan i-factor out nyo yan tapos kunin na natin yung derivative ng x raised to 0 gamit yung power rule so that's magiging coefficient yung 0 tapos x 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Okay. Any number multiplied to 0 is always equal to 0. So, basically, 0 siya. Doon po nang galing yung ating derivative of a constant. Okay. So, let's go naman sa ating next rule. Ito naman, guys, is derivative of a sum. Okay. So, derivative of a sum, guys, when we have that, if we are fast, uh, if we are tasked to find the derivative of u plus v, uh, that's, Simply saying na kukunin mo muna yung derivative ng u Tsaka mo i-add sa derivative ng v uh, That's du over dx plus dv over dx Okay guys, so yung ibig sabihin lang nito Kapag mayroon kang binomial, trinomial, or any polynomial man yan Yung pagkuha mo ng derivative is term by term Okay, so let's say for example Find the derivative Find the derivative of x squared plus x So sabi ko nga Kapag kukuha, tayo ng, kapag kukuha tayo ng derivative ng isang polynomial, binomial, ganun, term by term natin yan kukunin. So, is, dito muna tayo, tapos dito naman yung next. So, let's say, let's start with x squared. Ano ba yung derivative ng x squared, di ba? Using the power rule, magiging 2x yan. 2 minus 1 is 1, so wag na natin ilagay. Plus x. x na yan, guys. Ang exponent yan is 1, di ba? So, magiging 1x. 1 minus 1 is 0. And we know that 1, ay, x raised to 0 is equals to 1. So, 1 times 1 is 1. So, this can be your final answer, guys. Alright? So, parang ganun lang, guys. Kahit, let's say, for example, we have 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. We are tasked to find the derivative of this. Para makuha yung derivative nito, guys, term by term natin yan gagawin. Okay? So, unahin natin to, tapos ito, tapos ito. So, ito, let's say, let's Bibilisan ko na, that will be 4x raised to 1 na yan, minus 3, plus derivative of constant is equal to 0. Don't forget that, guys. So, 0 yan. So, ito magiging 4x minus 3. Okay? I hope you're getting the point out of there. Some uh, practice tayo. You can pause and you can solve. Tapos, fast forward yun na lang. Check nyo kung parehas yung sagot natin. And let's go. Solve natin. So, find the derivative of this polynomial. So, okay. Bale, and, bale, gagamitin natin sa problem na to yung maraming rule. No? Gagamit tayo ng power rule. Gagamit tayo ng derivative of a constant. And derivative of a sum. No? So, since nakita nyo na polynomial siya, siyempre derivative of a sum yan. Term by term natin siya kukunin. So, start natin dito sa term na to. That's, that's gonna be, wow, English. So, isang tabi muna natin yung coefficient. Tapos, Yung exponent, power rule na tayo. Yung exponent, magiging coefficient. 4x, 4 minus 1 is 3. Minus 5. Sagtabi muna natin yan. Tapos yung exponent ng x, which is 1. That's x raised to 0. Minus 3. Ang derivative ng constant, guys, is always equal to 0. Okay? Diba? So, that's 0. So, simplify na lang natin yan. 4 divided by 2, that's equal to 2x cubed minus 
x raised to 0 is, don't, don't forget, that's equal to 1. 1 times 1 times 5, that's equal to 5. So this is your final answer. Now guys, no? 2x cubed minus 5. Okay, as easy as that. Okay, dito naman tayo guys. 3x minus square root of x. Okay, no? Huwag kayong mabigla kapag may square root guys, diba? Uh, let's go back to our basics. Convert natin tong square root sa exponential form niya. So let's convert it first, no? Ang 3x minus square root of x, that's also the same as 3x minus x raised to 1 half. Diba kasi guys, kapag meron kayong, for example, cube root of x squared. Para makuha to, kunin nyo yung coefficient sa loob, that's x, tapos yung numerator ng exponent, 2, ito, over yung andito. So that's x raised to 2 thirds. Diba? Like for example, dito. Walang nakalagay dito, implied na 1 yan. Walang nakalagay dito, implied na 2 yan. So that's x raised to 1 half. Ganun siya guys. Okay? So, balik-balik tayo sa nakaraan kasi kahit masakit yung nakaraan, eh maraming matututunan din dun. So ayan, solve na natin yung derivative nito. Term by term, as I was saying a while ago, unahin muna natin dito sa 3x. Isang tabi natin yung coefficient. So ano yung uh, exponent to? That's 1. So that's gonna be 1x raised to 0 minus gawin natin coefficient yung exponent. Tapos 1 half minus 1 guys, that's equals to negative 1 half. So simplify natin siya. x raised to 0 is 1 times, okay sorry baka misinterpret nyo. x raised to 0 is 1 times 1 times 3 is 3 minus yung negative na to guys, ilagay natin sa denominator. Okay? Ilagay natin sa denominator para maging positive. Always, mas mag, yung simplified version, eh, dapat walang negative sign yung exponent. Okay? I think tama ako dun. <laughs> 2x raised to 1 half. So, para mas masimplify yan, gawin natin itong naka-square root form. So, magiging 3 minus 1 over 2 square root of x. So that's it mga bisa na nakatulong ito. Kung meron kayong katanungan o nakita kayong mali dito sa video, please comment down below and we will try to talk on that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye mga bis.